whether you are a reporter who does not have a weather background but would like to get better skilled at storm coverage, or you're a meteorologist who is entering a different geographic region or just wants to hone your skills in any kind of storm coverage or severe weather reporting, uh, Cheryl is your girl and uh, she is a specialist with us at Weather Elevates. Um, I've done very little in the field storm coverage and that has become your area of expertise over the years. How did you get to the point where you are today, where you are so multifaceted and have such a diverse skill set? It's kind of interesting. I, I never actually planned to be this way. Um, yeah, I went to Penn State, got my degree in meteorology, just like you did. And then I did TV weather, just like you, for a decade. I still actually am a freelancer for the AccuWeather Network. I do a lot of field reporting for them, which is a lot of fun. I did some work for the U.S. Joint Staff with disaster training exercises and scenarios. So I was on camera for them as well. I still host some TV shows and I started my own company too, Prepare with Share LLC. So I focus a lot on disaster preparedness and just preparing people, their families, their pets for anything that mother nature throws at them. Once you're out there in the field, do you have any tricks or pointers for uh, having a compelling live shot that is more than you just standing out in the elements? Right. And we see that so many times where you just stand there and just regurgitate information. But mm -hmm. I like to use the senses, you know, not only mm -hmm. say what you see, but what you hear, what you feel, what you taste, if, they're, if that's relevant, and what you smell as well. Mm -hmm. Tell a story by using more than just one sense. You can really mm -hmm. get people and get them in and actually feel and see what you are going through right there in that situation. Mm -hmm. And if you can do anything with a prop, maybe it's make a snowball, maybe it's measuring snow, mm -hmm. have an anemometer to measure the wind speed, do something, walk and talk, point out stuff. Mm -hmm. Just don't stand there and make it static. But when you get to your live shot, look around and think, okay, what can I use right here where I am to make this live shot more compelling? Right. While making sure that you're safe as well. As we Absolutely. Talk about and yeah. I'm glad that you mentioned safety too, because in this day and age, I mean, you got to be aware of what's around you, yeah. not just people that might be there, but also are there power lines uh, that could fall? Are there tree limbs? Blizzards come to mind, right? People love to get out there, um, but there are other weather events where you might encounter um, some folks as they're passing by. So what about MOS? Um, do you have any good questions that come to mind that are great to get sound from folks that you encounter when you're out in the field? Right, the man on the street or the woman on the street. Mm -hmm. I would try to get various perspectives from people. So first I would try to get a local if I can, and then maybe get a tourist as well. It's interesting to have the contrasting perspectives. Normally I like to do the senses question. You mm -hmm. know, tell me what you see, what you feel, what you smell, that type of thing. It works great for the man or woman on the street as well. And then also I like to say, how does this compare to previous storms that you might remember? How long have you lived here? Because if you can compare it to a big storm that people might remember, then it could mean more. And they'll go, wow, he said this is worse than Hurricane Isabel. Oh, wow. Well, that's intense. And that really puts things in perspective. And then I, of course, being the preparedness minded person, I'll ask them, are you prepared for this storm? How did you prepare? You know, what advice do you have for other people? You give the advice of making sure that you know how to put the weather event that you're experiencing into broader context for your DMA, knowing what the worst weather events, the biggest weather events, all those kind of things have happened in that market. And you have to put it in ways that people can understand and say, this is what this means. And if this is expected to be worse than X, Y, and Z, then you guys really have to hunker down. If you remember that specific storm, you're saying, Isabel, perhaps in the town that you're in, they lost a historic structure of some kind, yeah. or you know, it's tied to some big event that people who have lived there for 20, 30 years, they would remember that. Remember this building used to be here. Like you said, this is now gone because of this storm or this I pier know. was taken out during this storm. This is how intense we're expecting it to be. If you want to hear more from Cheryl, you can get in contact with us at Weather Elevate she provides a field reporting tutorial at Weather Elevate. So thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Erica. I'm happy to help.